Hey, Slick Talkers, thank you so much for tuning into this podcast, and I know that if you love this show, you'll also love my morning show called Good Morning Hospitality with my co-hosts Michael Golden and Brandy Canale as we spend 30 minutes every Monday morning to dive into the industry's top latest news and trending topics. So go check it out on wherever you find your podcasts at Good Morning Hospitality, and you can live stream with us on Monday mornings on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, YouTube. Now, I hope you enjoy this episode. Welcome to Slick Talk, the hospitality podcast where we discuss all things hospitality, hotels, and business. You can find us online at slicktalkthepodcast.com and on every podcast listening platform. All right, everybody, welcome back to this bonus episode of Slick Talk, the hospitality podcast. Um, this is a hospitality spotlight feature episode, also a bonus episode. If you're following my Instagram, you would see that there is a bonus episode coming out today, uh, which is uh, Tuesday, April 16th. So really excited about this hospitality spotlight um, feature because I've been growing and like learning more about Instagram and there's still like, I feel like Instagram is just a beast of its own for marketing and everything. And so Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> I recently discovered though proper hospitality or proper hotels, um, and so proper <clears throat> hospitality designs and operates and brands high end hospitality experiences under the proper hotels and residence and Avalon or Avalon hotels brands. Um, the founders are Brad Corzin, Brian Delo, and Alex Samek. Um, debuted their first property uh, or proper hotel in San Francisco in 2017 with Santa Monica, Austin, and downtown Los Angeles properties slated for 2019. Now, like for me, the reason why I think they deserve a hospitality spotlight feature on the podcast, um, for those who have learned or listened, um, I did Martin North for my first ever hospitality uh, spotlight feature. Martin North is a company out in Cannon Beach that has four different properties, two hotels, two restaurants, and one brewery. Um, the reason why they stood out is because they had a good marketing story. They had um, properties that really I felt were defined of the area, and that's why also I picked proper hospitality for this um, special feature. And I don't do this for many properties. This is my second one. And so it's also taken me a while to find another property to do a hospitality spotlight. Um, but I feel like they deserve it. And I'll go a little bit more into their story and in their properties and branding. But for me, I'm a Pacific Northwest born and raised um, hotelier out here. And I have a lot coming up and changes uh, for my career, which is good. It's all good, exciting things. I'm moving and stepping up in the hospitality world, so I'm super excited. But um, I'm born and raised Pacific Northwest. I was born um, north of Seattle. Um, I first started working at hotels in Spokane and moved down to the coast of Oregon uh, to Cannon Beach and Seaside. And also I've worked at Long Beach properties as well. Um, but I've always had like a little passion, not, I guess passion wouldn't be the word, but maybe a soft spot or, um, desire to go to California. And, um, I just love the heat and the weather and just the overall culture, um, is really exciting. And, um, for me, it's just something new because I'm used to the Pacific Northwest weather and just how everything is here, um. But California has always been a nice little spot for me, especially the the coast and just the overall nice weather um, is a big draw for me personally. Um, so to find proper hospitality and that they're based out in uh, Los Angeles and that they also have properties in Palm Springs under the Avalon Hotels brand. Um, and, you know, they have a, a residence a property for their Malibu beach house. And, um, they're just developing a ton. Um, the owners and founders, uh, have a hotel, um, a real estate group that they pretty much are developing these properties and it's overall just really cool. But the thing about these, um, 
I've always found the word proper, uh, the word proper in general, uh, just a really good word. I feel like it really needs no explanation. It needs no other sentences or description to explain what it is. It's just proper. Um, and for me, hospitality, I feel like needs to have class. Um, and I came from an autograph collection for those that you guys don't know. An autograph collection is, it's a really unique brand under the Marriott umbrella, um, because it means that to qualify as an autograph collection, there's no other property in the world like it. And you are unique in your own way, which a lot of properties are, but at the same time, we have that generic hotel brand with every brand consistently Marriott courtyards and choice hotels and all these other stuff. They have hotel brands that are all pretty much similar to each other. But for me, proper hospitality, I feel really is defined what hospitality is. And they've really enhanced that experience side for the guest, um, but also really changing the game with the residence type side where you can own and buy a suite. Um, and they're specifically doing this for um, the Austin, Texas proper hotel that is um, being built here by the end of summer. So. You'll see more pictures and uh, information on my website, slicktalkthepodcast.com forward slash bonus, um, where I will have all these bonus episodes featuring properties and just the overall exciting podcasting journey that I've been on on this last year or two. And so um, proper hotels, though, they are just clean. They're sleek. They're overall just have high end class. You, you can tell that there's a lot of money put into it and a lot of thought and design. And obviously they're not going to be your $89, $99, $120 rooms. They're going to be your 200, 300, 400, 600, even uh, plus. Um, but it's an experience that they get to offer. And so um, <clears throat> just a quick quote um, from Brian DeLow, the president and co-founder. Uh, we are obsessed with delivering top-notch service, memorable design, and a world-class culinary and entertainment experiences to creative and culturally vibrant cities. Now, um, <clears throat> if you go, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll see a link in my description for this episode with their website. And I highly encourage you to go look at it. And to be honest, um, 82% of my listeners are in the United States. And out of that 82%, 35 or 34% ish are from California that listen. And it's actually my number one uh, state that listens to my podcast, uh, following New York, as well as Washington and Oregon. Um, <clears throat> so for my listeners out in California, check it out. I think it's a great property and properties. Um, of course, if you're in California and you know of like Palm Springs um, and Coachella, Coachella Festival just happened um, and they have an Avalon property out in Palm Springs slash Coachella area and they got to do partnerships with the American Express uh, Platinum and they just did a bunch of cool stuff. Um, but just a quick bio that I found on the website for proper uh, hospitality is called the proper way proper began as a feeling, not as an idea. The feeling was something akin to empathy and acute awareness that despite the uh, current proliferation of boutique and lifestyle hotels and residents, there were precious few properties designed for and around today's global creative nomad. Um, so they really just stepped up their game and everything, just like the president quoted on the website as well. Um, you know, they're obsessed with delivering top-notch service, memorable design. The design is great. The uniforms for the staff is amazing. Guys, I'm telling you, like, I would do anything to go to this property and check it out and just spend like a weekend because you can just tell by the presence that they bring through social media and their website and just the overall reviews I even read is overall just top notch and amazing. Um, so yeah, they're, they're obsessed about bringing these experiences, um, to the guests. And I just think it's overall like such a great lifestyle brand. And like I said, I don't do many like independent properties, um, like 
episodes featuring them because I have a hard time finding brands I relate to and I feel like really step up the game. And I feel like proper hospitality really is doing that Um, with their residence property that they're building um, in Austin, Texas. uh, You can own one of the units um, and there's all these perks and they have just a top notch 24 seven top shelf uh, app where you can do like laundry services. They'll go buy and stock your pantry. There's, you know, all sorts of concierge services as well. Um, You're able to book meeting rooms and do all sorts of things. And I think just the overall lifestyle surrounding this brand, they are creating a lifestyle, like literally living in the hotel where you get to create this world and luxury um, but independent boutique, a uh, unique feeling for the property. So overall, really cool. And I'm really excited that I found this because um, now that I'm moving, uh, for those of you who don't know, I live in Seaside, Oregon. Um, I have for the last year moving down to Newport, Oregon, uh, about three hours more south. I'm getting closer to California. It's still about like a good couple hour drive to the California border. Um, but I, you know, as I'm growing in my, my career and moving down a little bit closer to the California side, um, I definitely think I'm going to make a trip and go stay at one of these properties soon. And I just love the overall brand and can't wait to experience it myself. So hospitality spotlight feature goes to proper hospitality. Uh, you guys, if you, any of you listen to this, um, just overall great, great work and way to set the standard and just overall shine in your area and change the game. I can't wait to see what um, develops under their brand in the future and in overall the hospitality world. So go check out Proper Hospitality, or if you go to properhotel.com, you'll find it. There's also a link in my description below. And if you guys want to hear more, see more, about my journey and move to Newport, Oregon, as I took a new job as the guest service manager um, for a Pacific Northwest branded hotel company. Um, Check out my journey and just overall, thank you guys for listening to the podcast. I'm super excited to bring more content and also check out the next episode um, with Scott Stanfield, where we get to dive in on sustaining the ecosystem of a property, whether it's a restaurant or a hotel. Um, This is episode three of our three episode series. So I'm really excited. It's going to be good stuff. And yeah, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Slick Talk the Podcast. Um, Check out the website, slicktalkthepodcast.com forward slash bonus to find this episode. And I'll also put links in descriptions below. Thank you guys so much. And I am really encouraged for the 1,500 listeners that take time out of their day to listen to this podcast. You guys are awesome. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for listening. We love your support and want to provide the best we can to all our listeners. So please find us online, social media, and on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and Google Podcast. What's up, everybody? If you've gotten this far into the episode of Slick Talk, the Hospitality Podcast, then you are amazing, and thank you so much for tuning in. We want to send you two places really quickly. If you can, check out the show notes and click the hospitality.fm link. Check out all of our other shows on the podcast network. And don't forget, if you have someone that you want to hear on the podcast, then fill out the guest fill-out form so that way we can get them on the show. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy another episode of Slick Talk, the Hospitality Podcast.